Hello friends this is Kumar and I welcome all of you to my YouTube channel friends today i am going to discuss with you to those students by faiz ahmed faiz to those students is qualified with the parenthetical note who perished in the struggle for peace and freedom so this poem commemorates the death of three students of the tehran university in 1953 who were protesting against the visit of american president nixon to iran This visit took place after the coup against the popular government of Muhammad Mosaddegh which was supported by America and Britain and the restitution of the oppressive regime of Muhammad Reza Shah Pahlavi as the absolute monarch of Iran the major political and economic cause behind the coup was the insistence by Mosaddegh to curtail the unlimited rights of the US and British oil companies to the use of oil resources of Iran The poem is in the form of a question answer exchange between the speaker and an Iranian. The poem also pays a glorious tribute to these young Iranian students who sacrificed their lives in the struggle for peace and freedom. So now let us discuss the poem. Who are these generous ones? Generous ones are the three young men who sacrificed their lives for the sake of their country. Of whose blood the gold coins cling cling clink their blood drops are clinking gold coins pouring into the earth's ever thirsty begging bowl into the earth's continually thirsty begging bowl are running are filling up the begging bowl the earth is continually thirsty because it would like to have a just order established in the world who are these young men on native land of the earth these spent thrifts here the young men are referred to as spent thrifts implying thereby that they did not hesitate to spend their lives in the service of the nation which is the whole mark of their generosity these spent thrifts of whose bodies the brimming youth pure gold these young men were in the prime of their youth when they were killed is thus in fragments in the dust fragments means in a broken condition in the form of small pieces the implication here is that the bodies of the youth have decomposed in the earth but their courage and sacrifice continues to prevail across their homeland and even beyond even if in the form of fragmented stories is this scattered street by street oh their native land oh native land why did they tear out laughing and throw away these eyes their spheres a sphere is a gem variety of corundum other than ruby and has a bluish hue these lips their coral a coral is a variously colored calcareous and hard substance secreted by marine polyps here it pertains to something made of coral as an ornament the precious and invaluable sacrifice made by the young men is made evident by references to gems and ornaments the restless silver of these hands to what use did it come into whose possession did it fall so these lines means that the pure gold of their bodies lies strewn in the dust so in the first 18 lines there is a series of question asked by the speaker to the iranian the speaker in the poem wants to know from an iranian citizen about the young men who seem to be so eager to squander their life in such a casual and careless manner o oh, questioning foreigner now the iranian has started answering the speaker oh questioning foreigner these boys and youths are fresh pearls of that light are new grown words of that fire from which sweet light and hot fire in the dark night of tyranny their worst forth the garden of the dawn of rebellion and there was dawn in every mind and body so here the iranian says that they are the fresh pearls of that gentle light and hot fire 
which swept through the tyranny of the dark night ushering in the garden of the dawn of rebellion dawn symbolizes peace and freedom from tyranny this spirit of freedom represented by dawn is infectious and fills the heart and soul of every citizen of iran with revolutionary zeal the silver and gold of these bodies the sphere and coral of these faces glittering glittering shining shining the foreigner who wishes to see let him come close and look his fill these are the ornament of the queen of life these are the bracelet of the goddess of peace in these lines the iranian invites all to witness the sacrifices which the youth of his country have made in countering tyranny both external and internal so our present poem to those students ends here i hope you understand the poem very well if you understand the poem then please like share and comment on the video and please subscribe the channel for further such updates this much all in this lecture thank you very much for joining us